Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do more graphing on the graphing calculator. Now what we're going to be doing today is graphing scatterplot. And note that this method will also work with bar graph and box and whiskers. Now let's get started. Note that this will put your calculator into a statistic graphing mode. So be sure to turn it off if you're not taking statistics. Remember earlier in one of my tutorials that I said you plot one, two, three, or anything on the top is highlighted, and then you try to graph certain graphs, it will not graph. Well, that is what I meant. Now let's get started. First, you will want to click the stat button, which is located under the DL delete button. Then it will bring you up the screen. You go under enter, I mean edit, and then option one, edit again, click enter. And then it will show you columns of blanks and rows of dashed lines. Now what these dashed lines represent is the coordinates, your numbers, your data, which you'll be inputting right now. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using L1 as my X values and L2 as my Y values. So I'll enter some random numbers. You can either enter it all in at the X value and then the Y or X, Y, X, Y, X, Y going down. But I recommend all of the X and all of the Y. It's more convenient. So I'm going to use... Oh yeah. But in order to input the values, you have to click enter. And then a flashy box would appear right down there. Now you can enter the values for the first block right there. I'm going to enter 1, then you click enter to input it in. Now it automatically goes down and then etc. Six, seven, eight, nine. So what I used are is 1, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now go to L2 by clicking the right arrow button and it'll go on top, same method, click enter and then flashy box and put your data. I'll put 2, enter, then it goes down 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then blank. Now I'm going to be, now you click, sorry about that, my memory card ran out of room. Now, as I was saying, after you enter all of them, click second Y. Second, and then Y equal button, and then there's plot 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, you want to turn plot 1 on by clicking enter, and then you go to the, now it's off, right? Now you click to enter on the on option. And then what type of graph do we want this? Is it scatter plot, line graph, bar graph, uh, an line graph of some sort, right? Down there, bar, uh, box and whiskers, and some kind of box and whiskers. So what we want is scatter plot for now. Our x value will be L1, y will be L2. You can change them, so yeah mark will be how it how the mark on like how the plot will look like the shape usually we when we graph we use circle black dots well in this case they give you three different types a dot which is one pixel only pretty small a plus sign like and the square i like the square because it just looks cooler and better now after you made the settings that you want it to be, click enter. Oops, uh, on the one you want. And now, 
quick rough. Now, as you can see, it's in standard. I mean, in standard view, it's like this, right? But there's an option where you could make it automatically adjust it to the perfect view to show all the points. Now, by doing that, you click the zoom button, which is right here. Go down to zoom stat, which is option 9 in the zoom button menu under the zoom tab click enter on it and then voila it will show them all note that the trace will the trace function will work on it but then it will just jump from point to point now if you want to clear your list of data right here be sure to click go to L1 on the top click clear Oop, and then oh okay yeah click clear on the top of L1 highlighted and then you click enter and then the whole list disappears and then for some reason don't click delete on it because it might delete the whole L1 column so leaving L2 and L3 left. So yeah, do the same with L2. Clear, enter, and then I'll clear them all. And now you could input new data and graph, 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 etc. And then now, since plot one was turned off from before, you want to turn it back off in case you forget to do so in the future. So the Y equals button go up click on enter on the plot one and then it will be unhighlighted deselected in other words and now you could graph other equations just to be safe thank you for watching and stay tuned for more tutorials